experiment is to put poo into two different containers. This one has been housing um, isopods and I put a, a ton of springtails in it. And these guys have been in here for many months and have reproduced. There's quite a few of them in here, actually. And there's lots and lots of springtails in here. This one is fresh out of the bag. So we're gonna cut up some poo and it's frozen solid right now. But we're gonna cut it up and put it, place it in these different containers. We're gonna see what impact the cleanup crew has on the decomposition of the feces. We're gonna add more spring tabs here. I'm just, just wanna make sure that we've got everything that we need to get this colony Okay, so we've got some poo here, and then here's some cut up ones. What I'm going to do is just, I'm going to lightly cover it. Just, just barely cover it. And I just want to, I want to be able to keep the moisture in there because if it dries out, um, there can't be any activity. The, the, Isopods won't come around, the bacteria won't operate, you know, if we get a surface that dries out on it. So that's it. It's just very, very lightly covered. Um, and we're going to then, we have the same plastic that has covered these for months. I just tuck it in and it actually does a good job of letting airflow in and keeping the moisture just about right. I've rarely had to add water to this setup. And then over here, we're just going to use the same bag, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to spread this out to cover it just lightly, just enough to keep it very, very slightly moist, about what you'd want in a bioactive setup. And we'll just come back and check. You know, every week or so, we'll take a look and see, or every few days, and I'll report back on how effective the cleanup crew is, a really densely populated cleanup crew is in a vivarium to break down waste. So over here, I broke this open and there's still poo in there, right? The temperature is not really what it should be. The same situation here, the cleanup crew hasn't broke this down at all. These are the bigger pieces that we put in there. We also put some smaller pieces. Just do the same, just kind of cover those back up. The smaller pieces, like here, they're almost, they've definitely been broken up and decomposed. They're still there, but you can tell they're, they're pretty much, they're about half what they were when we put them in there. And over here, when we looked, we found about the same thing. It really wasn't much difference. This is a little bit bigger one here, I guess. But this is all a big, you know, this is all poo. Right there. Okay, this is after about three weeks at 73 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The decomposition would happen many times faster if we're at like typical vivarium temps around, you know, 82, 84. But as it is, it looks to me that the decomposition was equal in both tubs. Um, the big hunks of poo are about, I don't know, 70 or 80 percent gone. The small hunks are almost completely gone. There's a couple little remnants here and there. But again, it's equal in both tubs. There's no difference, even though the one is like literally crawling with bugs. They didn't seem to contribute at all to the breakdown of the of the animal waste that's in there.